All right, what up, guys? Um, I'm back. Uh, it's the next day. Um, if you haven't uh, watched that video that I just dropped, uh, I dropped it yesterday. Uh, go check it out. Um, but today we're gonna get working on my friends. Um, I think it's a 07 or 06 RM125. Uh, his name is Adam. Uh, so yeah. Y'all gonna see him more on the videos and him and Maddox. Those are my two uh, friends and uh, Tristan and all of them. I'll introduce y'all one day to them, but y'all gonna see them on the video uh, a lot more. So, so we're gonna do like a little time lapse of me cleaning this. It's a uh, pretty dirty, like pretty dirty. Y'all gonna get a nice uh, little time lapse of me uh, cleaning it. So we'll see how that comes out. So yeah, stay tuned. Sprayed it down and scrubbed it. Uh, I couldn't get all into there. I could probably still get into here. Uh, I could do that with my finger. But I definitely uh, got it a lot cleaner than what it was. Now I gotta wipe it off. But yeah, next step, I did uh, this side and I did the other side. So next step is to wipe it all down. Uh, I can clean it a lot better than this. But, uh, I don't think he wants to uh, take the uh, bike apart just yet, so uh, I'm not gonna take. I'm not. I'm not gonna go ahead and you know rip the bike apart because usually I'll, I'll break the motor apart like this, and I'll get the motor to look like all like this, like basically, uh, like new. So, but that's not the goal with this. The goal is just to clean it up, make it look a lot nicer and a lot cleaner than what it came in as. So, so yeah. Uh, time to dry everything off. Alright. I went ahead and sprayed it and then wiped it off. It's a lot better than what it was. It's a lot cleaner. Uh, the pressure washer and everything could get through here, so I'm not gonna make it a big deal. It's definitely a lot cleaner than what it was when it came in here. A lot cleaner. So I could do a way I could do a way better job than this. Usually I take the whole motor apart, split the case, I even clean the transmission and everything. Like I even paint the side covers and everything. But like I said, this is this wasn't that type of project, at least not yet. But I know uh, Adam, my friend, will probably want the whole bike stripped straight to the bare frame, paint the frame, and uh, do a whole bunch of bling with the uh, with the motor and stuff as I usually do. So still a little dirty, as you can see right there. But it's definitely a lot cleaner than what it was. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe the wheels down because uh, they're they're pretty dirty and they're actually nice rims, so I want them to also look nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that as well. So. Yep. So I went ahead and uh, wiped down the rims. Now I'm going to use, um, where's that little uh, sponge thingy I used to use? Uh, I think it's 
it's over here somewhere. No, it's not over here. I should use a little sponge. Hmm. No, well, I guess I'll use uh, this rag. Ahead and uh, a lot of people don't know. Um, WD-40 helps your tires from dry rotting. So, if you ever store your uh, tire, I mean, if you ever store, yeah, if you ever store tires and you don't want them to go bad for a while, spray some grease or WD-40 on them, and it helps them from dry rotting. So, it's definitely one of the tips that definitely work. So, oh shit. <laughs> no one's seen that. But yeah, but yeah, definitely uh, put some WD 40 on the tires. And it definitely gives it a nice look as well if you do it on the bike. I have tire clean cleaner or tire shiner, like the real expensive one. I'll show y'all in a minute. I use it for my car, I use it for anything that has rubber, rubber tires. It's uh, good for it, but like I said, this is not a really expensive like build, so you can go, you can go and uh, save money on this if you would uh, want to do it. So WD40 does the same thing, but uh, this is the real stuff that I use. This really helps with tires and stuff. It makes it look nice, like uh, this one right here. See how this one has like a more like solid black to it than this one well it's gonna have that because i put the wd-40 but but yeah you, you can tell the difference this is with that so so yeah go ahead and get yourself a bottle of this even if uh y'all have a car and y'all want to maintain it these are good for the wheels and the rims as well so so yeah so it's, it's a lot cleaner what y'all think it's definitely a lot cleaner than what it came in so that's good. But yeah, now what I'm gonna do is I gotta straighten up the uh, my uh, my shop. But yeah, soon to be a uh, a real shop once I open up my own shop. So, but yeah, now I'm about to uh, go ahead and uh, straighten up the the shop because it's pretty crowded. I gotta organize some things. So stay tuned for that too. One eternity later. Hi right, guys, I'm back. Uh, it's actually a couple hours later. Uh, I went ahead and um, cleaned the garage. I mean, cleaned the little shop up, as you can tell. But yeah. I went ahead and uh, had some cereal, took a shower, do what I had to do. So, But yeah, it's nighttime now, but yeah, it's a lot, lot cleaner. Now I can actually pull a bike in, work on it here, pull it back, pull another bike, work on it here. But uh, today we're going to be working on, I did this. I uh, cleaned this as best as I could without taking the bike completely apart. So, you know, the pressure washer is going to clean all of this. So I'm not really worrying about it. And plus, it's not my bike, so I can't really do what I want to it. So, today we're going to work on this bike, uh, the 87 uh, YZ250, but it's bored out to a 290. So, this is not going to be a daily. This is going to be like a hill climber. Uh, I'm gonna get a, a nice little uh, paddle tire for the back. But yeah, we're gonna get ahead and work on this because this is actually gonna be done. I would say, give me like a couple weeks and this bike will be running. But uh, the parts will be uh, here in a couple days. So I gotta get working on this. So I got everything uh, laid out for the bike. Um, got the clutch plates, got the clutch basket. This is the old piston. Uh, I sent the piston out, the what a new piston. See, as you can tell, it says 
zero point twenty, so it was bored uh, twenty over when I bought it. But I could not find the piston rings for this uh, um, this size piston for a new one. So I went ahead and bought a bigger piston. So now it's bored forty over. So that's gonna be a lot more power, and I never had a um, a big bike like that, a two stroke. Uh, bigger than the 250 so we're gonna see how that runs I got the coolant hose uh, this carburetor is freaking huge like you can't really tell on camera but in person is big I got the reeds I got everything for the internal um, internal for the motor um, kicker shifter uh, shifter um, I forgot what this, what this is called shifter shaft or whatever it's called I can't remember and the stator and all that and then uh, all the parts that I have new for it I have a Pro X uh, clutch basket I got the transmission the transmission is uh, redone it's uh, all clean let me get a light real fast so y'all can see this off. so yeah so y'all can see I got the transmission in there it's all cleaned. Uh, I had the kicker gear in there. The case and everything was uh, redone. Uh, the side case was redone as well. Uh, got a new air filter. I uh, went ahead and brought the real unbreakable levers, not the fake ones, the real ones. As you can tell, yeah, it's a lot nicer than. Uh, and having the levers that don't break I mean that don't uh, bend back and forth like uh, these ones but I'm pretty sure he's gonna upgrade these two but yeah so we're gonna get uh, going on these parts um, things that I gotta clean and get to uh, I think I'm going to clean the carburetor uh, today what else um, um, I have to clean the reeds too because they're kind of dirty as you can tell see the little little specks of dirt in there gonna clean that definitely for the first start you don't want that to uh, get sucked up so, uh, so yeah definitely gonna get working on that so uh, stay tuned All right, I'm back so we're gonna get get it head on uh, cleaning this so it's, uh, it's not actually that bad but I cleaned everything else, like the transmission and all that. So why not clean the carburetor? That's mainly the main thing that everybody cleans. So we're gonna get ahead and, and doing this. Let's see if I can take this off. Look how hard these are. Like these are like almost brittle. Like about to break. So we're gonna see if we can get these off. See, look at that. They should not be breaking like that. So. Definitely got to get some uh, gas lines and some hose lines. So yeah, that's pretty. Get these all off. Come on. There we go. That one came off a lot easier. <clears throat> Let's see if this one works. <laughs> see, look at that. It just broke right off. It kind of looks like glass. There we go. So, yeah. If your hose lines look like this, I'm pretty sure that's not good. So, go ahead and uh, buy yourself some new hose lines. 20 bucks to get you a nice little roll, especially on eBay. So, let's break this apart. Surprised none of this shit's like stripping. There we go. Basically, I'm just going to take it apart and show y'all 
how y'all take a carburetor apart or how I do it. I don't literally take everything apart like this. I don't really do that. If it goes, if it stays like that and it doesn't like, when you pull this up, if it doesn't like snap back down without you holding it, then that, yeah, you got to take it apart and clean it. But I usually do like the needles and all that stuff. So, but yeah, the gasket, still good, not bad. Definitely some old gas in there. Look at that. It's a little. It's alright. So what you want to do is you want to take out these needles. So how I do it. Grab a pair of pliers. Twist it off. Oh shit. So once you got that off, just take it off. Uh, it's definitely clogged in there. Uh, you can't see through it at all. It's like oil. Don't look like dirt. It just looks like oil. So that's good. Uh, and then the float. You want to grab this little pin right here and just pull it out. It should come out pretty easy. Nope. So what you want to do? Grab something like this. Then. And just poke it out if you can if not that don't work the last thing you should do is pull it out like this or just hit it out a little bit I doubt it's gonna break anything so should be all right. Let's do Let's see. This don't look right. Oh yeah. Definitely got to take that out because this is not connected to nothing. You should be able to uh like uh that little needle right here. That little thing should be connected to this needle. And it should go up and down. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah. So this is going to take some time. So all you got to do is. It should come out easy. But mine is not coming out easy. So uh, it's going to take me a while probably. I just want to be stubborn. And then there's another needle. Down here. That you need a small flat head for. There's this needle. And there's this one. And you want to go down there and take that one out. And it should come out pretty easy. Well. There we go. It's coming out now. Needle's kind of small, and you can't see through that as well. Camera's a little crappy, but that's all right. I'm recording off my phone. I should be getting a camera soon, so video riding videos and everything are gonna be a lot better. But yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a time lapse. Uh, everything is pretty simple, so uh, stay tuned. the uh, carburetor put it back together uh, y'all already know how to uh, take it apart and all you do is you know the opposite so and if you don't know just go rewind this video backwards and it'll show you and I went ahead and cleaned this off camera uh, it's simple uh, all you do is take out these screws on each side and this whole thing comes apart so it's pretty simple so now that that's clean now I can put this in 
in here because now that I know it's clean I don't have to go back and be like oh did I clean this I already know because it's in this box um, these little things I'm gonna clean as I put it back together this I actually did wipe down and clean and cleaned off the uh, the rust that was on on no it wasn't that it was this on here I cleaned that as best as I could so that's gonna work just fine I'm pretty sure uh, the clutch basket uh, I, I don't know if I'm gonna keep it on just keep this this clutch basket on for now and then just change it when uh, when I had when I run the bike for a while but I might change it because it has these little rivets these little uh, indents which is that's from wear it's normal wear uh, but uh, I might just run it for now and then in the future put that new clutch plate on I mean clutch uh, basket on clutch clutch plates are actually pretty decent they're not bad at all so I'm gonna keep those pressure plate uh, uh, ran out of storage so I had to delete some stuff but like I said uh, I'll clean these uh, once I'm like uh, building the bike and building the motor but other than that that's uh that'll be last all I really had all I really needed to clean was the reeds and the carburetor everything else is like as I go on so uh, so yeah the bike is uh, pretty clean it's, it's actually not that bad at all uh, the hubs will definitely clean out really good. I can literally scrape this off and see the color of the hubs. I think they're silver. Yep, silver. So the pressure washer could do that. Uh, I would do it by hand, but it's kind of hard. You would hit your fingers on this so many times. Trust me, I, I've done it. Um, but yeah, it's definitely it's definitely a clean bike. Uh, man, it's, it's going to be nice once... Uh, once I'm done with it. It's definitely gonna be a hill climber for sure. Uh, yeah. See this, I think this is the CDI, CDI. So I'm not sure if this even goes to that bike. This right here. I, I don't even know if it goes to that bike. It don't look like it at all. But we shall find out once I put it together, so. Stay tuned for the next video. Uh, the next video uh, should be uh, tomorrow, obviously, because I, I, I post every day. So um, this video is definitely posting a little late. It's uh, it's like let's say nine nine thirty right now. So it is posting a little late, but hey, it's still it's still considered a day. So so yeah, tomorrow I might do a video on this one. And uh, do the same thing. I haven't cleaned the carburetor. I haven't cleaned the clutch basket or anything. Transmission, have not even cleaned that either. So I definitely got to do that. And the bike, I haven't cleaned either at all. It's still still dirty. So I'm definitely going to do that. But, man, I hope y'all had a good day. Uh, I also had a good day. Uh, so, yeah, make sure y'all stay tuned for the next video that's coming out. Um, but yeah, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And uh, yeah, I hope y'all have a blessed day. And uh, don't worry, um, the giveaway, uh, is, like I said, all y'all got to do is uh, comment, rate, subscribe. And y'all will be freely entered to win the giveaway. Uh, if you don't know what the giveaway is for, it is for that car that's under there. Uh, if you don't know what these are, these are nitro. They run on uh, gas, like not gas for a car or a dirt bike. This type of gas. So they're pretty cool. But yeah, but yeah. I hope y'all have a blessed day. I'll see you guys tomorrow.